Hello everyone, this is Kiran Kumar. Today I am going to teach you algorithms. Let me ask you one fundamental question. What is an algorithm? Think about it. And what is the purpose of algorithms? Think about it. The first question's answer is, algorithm is a sequence of steps. If you perform them, then you know you can solve a problem. Okay. Example, you know, this consider this problem, I have an apple and I want to eat it. That's a simple problem. Think about it, how to solve it. So for that, we can do this thing. Wash this apple, then cut it into some pieces, let's say four pieces. Third one, eat one by one, isn't it? Whenever I do that, definitely I can solve a problem called eating apple, right? So in this world, so many people are using algorithms to solve them, knowingly or unknowingly, right? So finally, algorithm is a sequence of steps. If you perform them, you can solve a problem. Let's come to computer science problems. In computer science, there are so many problems. We want to solve them. For that, we have to design algorithms, right? So to solve real world problems, we need real world algorithms. There are a lot of algorithms for that. So your brain runs a lot of algorithms, right? To eat an apple, otherwise to survive. How to be happy? Let's say ask your brain. Then your brain is going to run a lot of algorithms to make you happy, right? So I don't know whether that algorithms are best or not. But definitely, you have some algorithm you are in your mind, you are going to execute it to, you know, solve a problem called how to be happy. In the same way, so computer science has lot of problems and if you write algorithms for them, probably you can solve that problems. I will tell you one such problem. Example, my friend Raju want to go from Hyderabad to Chennai. So, for him, these are all the possible paths like this one is path 1, path 2, path 3, so on. Then what is his idea is since Raju is a student, Raju want to have a best path. Here best means cheapest path. Then so how to have a cheapest path from Hyderabad to Chennai? So how to find out it? For that, so Raju somehow has to you know run this algorithm that is you know cheapest path algorithm, isn't it? The cheapest path finally we need algorithm here correct so this cheapest path algorithm if you can design probably it helps Raju to save his money right so you understand the purpose of algorithm now if you can help Raju by designing cheapest path algorithm which solves Raju's problem then Raju can save his money similarly there are some other problems you know that can uh, that might save time of the people sometimes you know they may you know save the life of the people in that way finally the purpose of algorithms i can say to change this world okay so that you know your lives will be better than they were that's the goal of the any algorithm so finally in one line algorithm saves your time saves your money saves your lives and make your life better than it was that's the algorithm's introduction now the second question I would like to ask, so what are the things you have to study about, you know, algorithms? What are the properties? I will tell you. So there are two properties we have to focus whenever we study any algorithm. So one is time complexity, second one space complexity. I will tell you the reason why we have to study time complexity and space complexity. The reason whenever you write algorithms especially for com in computer science they are going to be executed under computer isn't it so example i have a problem which is especially you know a computer science problem that means i want to solve that problem using computer then for that i might write an algorithm right so this is the algorithm for that problem then this algorithm i am going to run under a machine this is my computer since you are executing that algorithm under computer, probably you have this doubt. How algorithm can be executed under computer? For that, we have to convert that algorithm to a suitable program. So what is the difference between algorithm and program? Algorithm is an idea. Program is an implementation. Okay. So algorithm, whenever you implement it with program, then that can be executed under computer. Such a computer generally takes some time to execute it, isn't it? So that is called time complexity. 
and such computer takes some space to execute your program let's say that is space complexity so finally this time complexity and space complexity of your computer at this moment will become time complexity and space complexity of your algorithm in that way these two are correlated right so algorithm since you are executing your algorithm under computer that's why so it needs some time and space we say that these time and space are the time complexity and space complexity of the corresponding algorithm let's see why time complexity and space complexity are such important properties of any algorithm consider this problem let's say i have a problem and this problem has four algorithms a1 a2 let's say a3 a4 so why multiple algorithms for same problem i will tell you consider this example let's say you have an apple and you want to eat it probably you can do it in two ways cut it into four parts or three parts and eat it second one you know make juice and drink it so either way you are eating you know apple isn't it in the same way to solve a problem you can have multiple ideas so that multiple algorithms now when you have multiple algorithms then my question is how to pick up the best algorithm that's why we use these two parameters one is time complexity second one space complexity so before before discussing time complexity and space complexity i would like to give you some more idea about you know uh, computer and algorithm you have algorithm let's say that any algorithm that algorithm you are going to execute under computer this is your computer then since there are some computers which are fast some computers are slow that's why i would like to you know normalize them by this idea that is uh, any computer generally perform you know arithmetic logic otherwise that, that means you know some arithmetic i can say otherwise they do some memory transfers they are data transfers so these are the two primitive steps any computer can perform let's say arithmetic means addition subtraction multiplication division so on and data transfers are maybe you know so register to memory transfer otherwise memory to register transfer maybe register to register transfer so these are the primitive data operations otherwise these are the primitive uh, operations any computer performs then what i do is more or less these generally these operation takes you know one unit of time now if you have an algorithm then i use a keyword called step from now onwards whenever i say if algorithm takes one step that means your algorithm if it is executed that step is executed under computer then that is going to take one unit of time that's the relationship between step and one unit so i say algorithm step that means it takes one unit of time only that kind of instructions i say steps then if algorithm takes 100 steps that means it is going to take 100 units of computer time that's what my idea understand so with that i'm going to develop the theory about this you know time complexity and space complexity so my question again why how to pick a best algorithm that's a question so for that what i do is uh, let's say a1 a2 a3 a4 are your algorithms and every problem will have input isn't it so example the problems input size is n then these algorithms are going to take some time let me uh, assume that this algorithm is going to take n units of time this algorithm a2 is going to take you know n square steps let's say this algorithm is going to take n cube steps let's say a4 is taking some 2 to the power of n steps obviously so a1 is the best algorithm we have isn't it because it is performing it is taking only n steps but some of the st students still have this doubt that is since our computers are very fast generally computers execute these instructions in 1 nanosecond maybe sometimes you know 1 picosecond so where 1 nanosecond equal to 10 power minus n seconds and 1 picosecond is 10 to the power of minus 12 second when your computers are performing with 
such a speed should i really bother about whether my algorithm's time complexity n or n square or n cube or 2 to the power of n do you really worry about it is the question i'm going to answer yes definitely still you should worry about the time complexities you should know how to compare the algorithms the reason let's pick a4 algorithm this algorithm force time complexity 2 to the power of n steps isn't it so if you pick this algorithm for your problem what is going to be you know happen i will tell you so example let's say your problems uh, you have a problem and you are going to take algorithm a4 for that it's time complexity 2 to the power of n steps when input is n right so that means your algorithm is depending on input size whenever you pass input size n it is taking 2 to the power of n steps we know that e step means one unit i mean so whenever a step is executed under computer it takes one unit of time then it takes 2 to the power of n step means one unit of time if i convert into time then it will become one unit let's say you are using fastest computer in the world then it takes 2 to the power of n into so one unit takes 10 to the power of minus 12 seconds isn't it let's assume n value 300 it's very small input isn't it so taking n value 300 is not a big number then for such problem so this will become 2 to the power of 300 into 10 to the power of minus 12 seconds so 2 to the power of 300 is such a big number that is equal to approximately 10 to the power of 85 approximately i'm not sure whether it's exact or not so 10 to the power of 85 into 10 to the power of minus 12 seconds focus this number 10 to the power of 85 is not small number it's very big number how much big it is sir so it is very big numbers such a way that this number is equal to i am writing here number of atoms in the universe number of atoms in the universe just remember it so 10 to the power of 85 is more than number of atoms in the universe think about atoms now atoms in our body itself is very large number isn't it now atoms in the country let's say in india is very huge number even in our population is 100 crores is very huge number then the number of atoms in this india definitely will be huge number now number of atoms in earth it will be you know very large number what about atoms in universe then it's very 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 large number right so that many seconds you are you know taking for executing that algorithm so you know one thing if you simplify it you get 10 to the power of 85 into 10 power minus 12 it will become 10 to the power of 73 seconds if i convert it into years uh, i assume that in one year there are 10 to the power of 9 let's say seconds so approximately then it will be 10 to the power of 73 into approximately actually uh, number of seconds in a year is actually 10 power 8 approximately then it will become 10 to the power of you know that means you know if i convert into years it will become 10 to the power of 65 years why i'm using 10 power minus 8 because i'm converting from seconds to years one year equal to 10 power 8 seconds then one second equal to 10 power minus 8 years just you know i want to show you the computation this will become 10 to the power of 65 years you know one thing our age of the universe is 10 to the power of you know 12 years approximately not more than that and the time you are going to take to execute this algorithm a4 is very much bigger than age of the universe now try to understand how much time you are going to take right at most you know it will be very huge number right so it takes you know lot of universes to destroy correct so that's why i want to say that whenever you design an algorithm you should know the time complexity and you should compare the time complexity with other algorithms time complexities if you don't do that if you don't analyze the time complexity of algorithm in the worst case what can happen is your algorithm time complexity will become 2 to the power of n and if you implement that algorithm that will take 10 to the power of 65 years whereas your age of the universe is after all 10 to the power of 12 years you understand that 
that's why you should be very careful with the algorithms always we should analyze the algorithms before implementing them that's why we are going to analyze the algorithms right so how to analyze the algorithms is the question right for that i will be teaching you asymptotic notations